I'm in my Airbnb, but I just wanted to show y'all my shirt that I had on today. And I, a lot of you know I lost over 100 pounds and I had the loose skin removal surgery. But before that, this was like, my stomach was like out, was like out to here before I lost the weight. But ah, ah, I am so, so grateful. I just want y'all to know how grateful and how thankful I am for each and every one of you. I am so, so grateful. Oh, you just don't know. Please, 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 please understand that I'm so grateful. And I'm just so happy and I'm so blessed. This was an amazing conference. Okay, sorry, y'all. I mean, this was an amazing, amazing conference. Being able to hear the preachers preach, like they were saying, they were saying things like, don't keep coming to conferences and you ain't learning nothing. Like I learned so much and I just felt like I had to be at this conference. I felt it in my spirit. And to go to the conference with literally only like $150 and then to, to leave with more than I could even imagine. I could pay my rent like almost twice I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the red lighting. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but I can pay my rent like almost twice. I can, I am so thankful. And I don't like to harp on the negative stuff. I don't like to talk about it, but somebody was like, you're on a high now, but there's going to be a time you fail and you will fail or you will fall. And I'm like, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm here now. Like, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about now. I'm thinking about the moment I am now. And if I do, it would be my doing. It would be my doing. I would have to sabotage myself. I am, yes, I'm on a high now. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And I'm just, I'm just so blessed that you're in my life. That you are following and you're supporting me. And I just... I am so blessed. Like, I am so grateful. And you are too. You know what is in my heart right now? You know what I have to share? <sighs> Be more vulnerable. Be more out there. Don't be afraid to express how you feel. Somebody was like, girl, why are you crying? And I, I am, God said or the universe, or whatever you want to call it, put yourself out there. He gave us emotions for a reason. Some people are like, you'll never see me cry. You'll never see me sweat. I don't think like that no more. I don't think like that anymore. No, I am not. You're going to see me sweat. You're going to see me cry. You're going to see me go through. You're going to see me be grateful for the little. You're going to see all of that because I am so grateful, and I am so humbled, and I am just... Because all of this could be taken away. Like, I've grown 23,000 followers in the last 28 days. Y'all can easily say, I don't want to follow you no more, and done. I could easily do something, and you could cause me to lose everything. You, you are the reason I am where I'm at. And it is, I could, I don't know if I'm, if I'm making any sense, but... Literally, like, yes, I could lose this all. I could fail. I could, this could be, next month, I can make $5 on YouTube. But I'm going to tell you something. I have never experienced this. And I am grateful for it now. And I am happy it's happening for me now. And I am so thankful for each and every single one of you. Each and every single dollar. Each and every single everything. I am thankful and I'm grateful for it. And I am, <sighs> like, you don't understand. None of this is mine. Like, this is, none of this. We are here for a season. I'm not afraid to, somebody said, you need to stop sharing your, how many followers you get. Because people can start hating. And the same people who are happy for you now could be the same people who, you know what? That's all right. That's okay. Because me sharing this hopefully inspires you and doesn't make you jealous. Look at what I'm doing. I'm sharing my tears. Would you share your tears? Would you let anybody see you cry? 
And if the answer is no, then ask yourself why. And if you're ever jealous of anybody for getting something you don't have, ask yourself, what are they doing that you are not doing? I told God, I am no longer going to be afraid. I am no longer going to fear what people think. Sometimes God got to tell me, turn the camera on, sis. Let the people know what's going on. Sometimes he got to jolt me and put me in my place and remind me who he created. He created an abundant world who is ready and willing to help. You want to know why people are so happy to see my growth? Because they know that they can do it too. And I am not gatekeeping. I am not afraid of what you're going to do to me. I'm not afraid. See, I'm, I feel like there are a group of people who need to see these things. Yeah, they may feel in their spirit, why not me? Why God ain't blessed me yet? But they're also going to feel in their spirit, what if? What if he blesses me? What if that can happen for me? For a minute, they may be like, why her? She don't even look cute. She ain't got no makeup on. She don't even take time to do her hair. But in the back of their mind, they're like, but what if, what if I start a YouTube? Do you think I could grow? What if I post a video sharing how I'm really feeling and what I'm going through? Do you think people would listen? What if I really told the truth about what's going on in my life and what I've been experiencing? What if I really told people that I'm suffering? What would happen? See, I'm willing to do that. I am willing, because I told God, I don't want to live below my means. I don't want to live a life that too many people are out there living and happy. I want to be one of them. So what I got to do? Share your emotions. Don't be afraid to tell people you're not doing okay. I'm not afraid to say I'm not okay. And if I fall, if I fail, if I lose it all, if I never have another YouTube check, I'm going to let you know that too. See, I'm not afraid to tell you, oh, I messed up. I messed up. Because people are suffering. They need hope. They need something that they can believe in. And if I share my little 23,000 subscribers or my $1,000 I made in 11 days, God said that will give people hope. There are some people who can't even make $5 in a day. There are some people who cannot do anything because they are bedridden. I don't think y'all understand. Like, I'm not afraid of who's jealous. I'm not afraid of who's hating. I'm not afraid of who's going to come for me because I know my God. I know how, I know how great people are. And if they're not, there is a part of them that is still good. And they will take from me the feeling of hope. For a minute, it may be a feeling of jealousy, a feeling of hate, a feeling of animosity, a feeling of malice, a feeling of why her and not me. But I want you to know right now, I have been the scum of the earth. And when God says, stop hiding how you really feel and Show people what's going on. Even if God elevates me, there are, there's still attacks. Attacks happen that you will never know of to some of the most famous, successful people. The attacks happen. And the reason I feel like most people are blessed abundantly is because they have dealt with the attacks. And God says, now you ready. I got my boxing gloves on. And I'm ready for the fight. But I'm not afraid of the challenge. So tell me whatever you want to say. You're going to fail. People are going to hate you. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. Ain't nothing happened that ain't happened to me. It's just a different form of happening. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.